almost seems like a trick question in this day and age. What is masculinity? What is true manhood? It almost seems also like a trap. Like just answering that question could get you in some kind of cultural, social melee of <sighs> really fast. Welcome to Leading Leaders Podcast. Five minute videos, five days a week. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast. I think part of the reason is that what has been expressed for manhood, for masculinity, has been kind of that troglodyte, Neanderthal kind of a way of being a man. It was all, and it was aggressive, and it was demeaning, and it was taking over the world, and it was conquering everything. And yet, I think the greatest illustration that we've ever seen of a man was a man that historically was around 2,000 years ago. And the definition of manhood that that individual left behind was patience and kindness and goodness and meekness and gentleness and self-control. And those are not the kind of things you see in men today. You see men who play video games for 8, 10, 12 hours at a time, and they don't even think about the impact that that has, A, on their brain, or B, on the people around them, the social skills and, and the life of people that they're directly impacting. You see men who want to be aggressive, and they're, and they're taking from others, and they're fighting violently, and, and that's the only way they know how to express their territory. They're like, like rabid dogs with a food aggression, right? And that's not real manhood. Or you see men who, they may put on a suit and tie, but they're still vicious. They're still climbing their way to the top and clawing their way to the top and stepping on the heads of everyone else along the way. And I don't think that's real manhood either. But I do believe that manhood was patient and it's kind. Masculinity doesn't rejoice in evil. There's no celebration when someone else gets hurt or gets had. There's no celebration when injustice is the, the rule of the day. No, I, I believe real manhood, real masculinity, celebrates the truth and not the injustice. It's kind and it's patient. It's not irritable and angry and fighting all the time. It's not keeping a record of wrongs, looking for a chance to get one up on you, to get you back. It's looking for a chance to make peace. And I know that's not easy. And I also know that it's really hard to understand how standing your ground and being patient and kind go together. But they do. That, it seems ironic as well, but I'm going to quote a scene from an old movie called Roadhouse. When the bouncer who's training all these bouncers in this roadside tavern that's always filled with trouble and they're about ready to shut it down, and this old guy comes in and he says, listen, be nice. And they're like, yeah, but you hired us because we're tough. And he's like, be nice. And they're like, why would we be nice? He said, always better to be nice. It's always better to be nice. If they're going to start a problem, ask them to leave. If they're going to raise their voice and start yelling, ask them again to leave. And until there's a time to not be nice. You will always be nice. And they're like, when do we know when it's time not to be nice? He said, if you can't figure that out, I'll tell you. So your rule is always be nice. And I'll tell you when it's time to not be nice. Now that doesn't mean that a real man, someone operating in, in true masculinity is a pushover, doesn't stand their ground, doesn't defend their family, doesn't take up for the rights of, the, of those who are being served in justice. No, a, a real man does all of those things because that's what love does. Love says, I care about you, even if I don't know you. I care about you because you're a human and you have value. That's what love does. Love says, I will put my life in the line for yours. But I will also be patient and I will be kind. And I will not be rude or proud or arrogant. I'll not seek just for myself, but I will seek justice for everyone. That's what a real man does. That's what a real man did 2,000 years ago. And that form of masculinity, I'm afraid, is drastically missing in our society today.
Well, we got plenty of arrogance. We got plenty of violence. We got plenty of, I'm going to get mine. We don't have a whole lot of self-sacrificing, giving up for the sake of others, laying down our own wants and needs until someone else is better off. That's what we need more of. That's real manhood. That's real masculinity. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast for Tell It Like It Is TV. Have a blessed day. Subscribe now for our extensive video library of leadership lessons promoting faith, family, and freedom.